Let's see if this works. How's your audio? Good, man. How about yours? It's sounding good. Well, I think we should uh, get this thing started. <laughs> Let's do it. What's up? Welcome, everybody, to another Georgia Archery Podcast. Podcast number? 42. 42. And 4 we're, two. And we live. Live on the Facebooks. Yep, we're trying to get this thing working. Um, How's everybody doing? We got like 14 folks. They're all watching us. 14? Yep. All right, let's grow it. I'm looking for 50. 50 people at one time. Can 50. we do it? 50. I know we got 50 Georgia archers 50 in the state of Georgia, archers. and we're on quarantine, man. Yeah. Stay at home. Don't go nowhere. So, well, some of us got to work. <laughs> we, you know, there's some essentials. We are some people working. Um, 13 is what I'm seeing. I got, yep. So, I need to set my, I need my, my little phone, dude, Uh. So, what's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? How's the quarantine? The stay at home shelter in place. Let's see here. I need to do something. Wow. There it went. Let's see if I can get my... We get what are you in, doing? I'm trying to get in focus, man. But it's going to put a little box in the middle of us. Look at the little box. Look at the little box. I'm looking at the little box. Don't talk about what we're doing. I'm looking at the little box. So... I don't see nothing happening. No, I know. <laughs> so um, what's up, man? Not much, man. What's up with you? Uh, nothing. Same Todd, as last week. Todd Jones said he got his range cleaned up today and about to go shoot a practice round this afternoon. Well, heck, is it open to <laughs> invites as long as we're six foot apart? Uh, they are, I, I hear you, brother. Oh, we, you. Yeah, there are people. Which, have to hey, work. it could be worse, man. We could all. It could be so much worse. So thankful to be working, for sure. So, give me some questions. This one might be a little. Well, all we blah. can talk about is well, it ain't gonna be blood because me and you are here. We're gonna laugh and giggle like we always do, and we're gonna talk. Look, we got people showing up in the background. Yeah. You know, Nate, Nate, you're live on Georgia Archery. Yeah, you're live, Nate. Nate. He, he, said needs, he money. needs money. <laughs> <laughs> That's about how it normally goes. He needs money. Oh, my goodness. I guess we have not asked, how's the audio? Uh, it sounds like everybody says, you know. Look, Carson see Sapp this? is in the house. Giving my debit card. Hey. Wait, hold on. What? You need this? No, I'm just picking at you. <laughs> Bring me a soda back or something. Okay. Anyway. But, yeah, six foot apart. Six, well, in... We we can't do six foot apart. No, not wait. Did I say that out loud? We can do six foot apart. We've done six foot apart a lot of the day, and uh, but eighteen. Yeah, that's the most I've seen. Y'all keep sharing it. Come on, guys, Sh share it up. Tell everybody. Send some where questions we're at. this way. Tell us what you're doing. That's archery right. related work. Really, I mean, yeah, we don't have much to chat about on the archery front. Mm -mm. But instead of going into a hiatus. Kind of like we did back deer and deer season. We're just going to keep it rolling. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, Carson says audio sounds good. I appreciate good that. Good deal. Thank you, Carson. Appreciate you uh, where are letting you, us know where, that. Where are you aren't at? You in, aren't you in the great state again um, of Georgia? Uh, I know they sent uh, schools are all at home. Carson, where are you up to? Anybody, any luck with the turkeys? I know Nathan and I went Sunday. And I'm not much of a turkey hunter. I uh, just never really got into it, but I'm addicted now. After hearing we had a bird gobbling, saw some hens, man, we were, yeah, we're addicted. I took Friday off. <laughs> I got to go pick up the monkey from South Georgia, but we're turkey hunting Friday morning. Turkey hunting Friday morning. Well, uh, I'll be here Friday morning. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we, we are... Uh, having a lot more work going than what we thought um I, that's great that you're uh delivering lunches in quinette um then school lunches i guess or um and some of them are out for spring break right now so they're not doing that 
But uh, as anybody knows, the governor decided we're going to sit till the 30th, I guess. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, <laughs> um, we ex- extended our, extended uh, our stay shelter, 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 shelter in place till the 30th of April. Lovely. So is there any tournaments coming up that you know of? Oh, okay. <laughs> he's back in the Cairo. Joe, Joe's Cairo. Joe, Joe, Joe said you need to show us how to use a mouth call. Negative. That, that's not <laughs> happening, brother. Come on now. Nope. I uh, gave up on the whole mouth call and other turkey calls. If Shorts I can't and a use t-shirt. a pot call or a box call, I just ain't calling no turkeys. Yeah. You ain't, it just ain't going to happen. I might call in some crows. That's right. Or a dead turkey, maybe. That, uh, that South Georgia be uh, nice and warm down that way. So, you you walking back and forth in your flip flops, uh, practicing some for outdoor season that we may not have. Yeah, dude. Can we just skip to September then? Can, I, we, no. can we just cut no. off like April fifteenth no. and no. skip till like uh-uh. first part of September? No, because. I mean, oh my, if, we, if yeah. we can't shoot tournaments, I'm ready to deer hunt. Well, I, you're right, but I'm that, just saying that puts us. Anybody busy. else? Anybody with me? That puts us busy again. So so be it. I'm ready. Fine. Let's get busy. Help pass the time. For real. Uh, who's with me? Anybody with me? If we can't shoot any tournaments, can we just get back to deer hunting? Somebody said Georgia Cup. Well, Georgia Cup is still scheduled because it's after the 30th. But who knows what happens after that? Mm, let me move. What's Rob- up, Big Robert? Let me, let me move Rob- Robbie's name over here so everybody knows who Robbie is. I mean, we got only fourteen, so we're we're idling around that fourteen to fifteen mark. Yeah. Y'all share it. Invite some people. Tell Somebody everybody. that maybe isn't super familiar with archery. Well, yeah, because we <laughs> talking a lot of archery right now. <laughs> yeah, how'd you uh, shoot last weekend? Oh, uh, I uh, didn't shoot last weekend. So you shot well. I shot. I, I didn't miss a target. <laughs> I didn't shoot. Shot all twelves. Uh, yeah, I mean every every twelve I hit every twelve I shot at. All right then. So, can't be can't complain about that. No, I don't it was, reckon it was pretty good. So, uh, but uh, yeah, we uh, as far as archery goes, there ain't been a lot of archery. You know, there's been a lot of cancellations and postpones of shoots, um, and uh, so we ain't had a lot of archery to talk about. But I did play with some skinnies the other day on my red bow. I did see you slinging some skinnies. Made me want to uh, just to have something different to do. Yeah, and made me want to go out there and try mine too. So, um, what's a good food plot food for the dorky horns? Look, did you. Uh, if I was planting a food plot coming up in the next couple of two three weeks, I'd have to plant soybeans. Um, Nathan's just going to stand there. Soybeans is one of my favorite food plot seeds. Uh, <laughs> just personal. Yep. He just wants to be in the video. Well, we just need to get him a headset and a microphone well, and let him tag it's, along. It's, it's over there. I'd have to dig it and move it. If I had known, I'd have set him up. Yeah. But anyway, um, so we're, uh, what did you say you wanted to plant in the food plot? I, it would for me. It would be soybeans. Well, I know you're a soybean guy. Right? Um, that and iron clay and then peas. iron clay peas yeah. is you know first part of September. But that's been my that's been my best luck when it comes to early food plot planting. Is yeah. Soybeans. I mean, they they won't be able to eat it now. I mean, I guess they could eat the sprouts, and they do to some some degree. But for late season, I mean. They'll be right by then, you know. Or yeah. Not, or not late season, but, you know, for archery season. Hopefully. I mean, that's what you're hoping for. Because that's what I focus on. Yeah. I mean, for me. Archery season. It's archery season. Yeah. The middle of September, middle to end of September well, to the end of October. That, that, that's my. That first, second, that Halloween week is a really good oh week, Oh, yeah, that's, too, that's by far my favorite week yeah. to hunt is the weekend of Halloween right around in the end of October. That's but, right. Uh I guess because we wait so long. You know, Hello we, there, Dan Foster. We wait nine months to be able to finally get back into a tree. So even though it's 92 degrees, yep. 
I say every year that I'm not going until yeah. it starts to cool down, and, and then I find myself go. out there sweating. Of course. Uh, just That's just what because we I enjoy it so much. Um, so primarily most of my hunting happens between the middle of September to the first part or first part of November. Yep. So did did you say Mr. Dan Forrester? Yeah, that's what it said right here. I got his Well, how about that? He's been What's going there. on, Mr. Dan? You got any insight on what the ATA may be doing <laughs> to try to help with this COVID-19 crisis that we are currently experiencing? I know you've been working hard at it, I'm sure, because you always do, yep. no matter what it is that you are doing. Dude, we need some shoots to talk about who well, shot well. Well, I'll tell you what. Here's what I can tell you is that the Georgia archery virus target challenge challenge has, has been gone. going crazy. I had another. I talked to a, a guy with another shop over north towards the Atlanta area. I guess it was the end of last week. Mm -hmm. He called me wanting to know that... Uh, Wanting to know if we were still going to be able to stay open. Yeah. And was hoping that he was going to be able to stay open. And towards the end of our conversation, he just pointed out uh, pointed out the fact that the Corona Archery, or the Georgia Archery Coronavirus Virus Challenge, Challenge was a huge hit. I thought it was He hit. had, before he even knew about it, yeah. he had kids coming in, into his shop With wanting target. to do it yeah. and didn't have a target. <laughs> and he was like, dude, I, I don't know. What are you talking about? Um, uh, well, but eventually they got some targets printed out and yeah. was able to, you know, have some kids participate in the George Archery Corona, Coronavirus Challenge. And considering that we're still under the stay-at-home, the shelter-in-place, stay-at-home, be safe six foot well, apart. Well, there was more videos. Keep doing it. You saw? Mm -hmm. I, I saw, saw Abby Whittle do it. I saw <laughs> Scott Whittle do it. Um, we, saw, we saw Trip. Trip, Jake Martin, uh, Trip's wife, Tony Troxel, did it. Mm -hmm. um, there has been a lot of folks doing it, and we've been trying to share it as much as we can see it. I wonder how many times it's being done and we don't realize it. Yeah, I mean, if you I don't, know how many how many folks if, are participating? If it hasn't been shared with us uh, in the Georgia Archery Coronavirus Challenge, yeah. Nathan Brooks is. an arrow from arkansas to georgia and, and he's probably the only one his group on the was screen. tighter than mine 20 yards yeah. and his was 715 miles and it was like this yeah i saw so, that um yeah that was a great um video and i i think it just gives us something fun to do um i if you haven't done it yet and you haven't been called out i'm calling you out now if you're watching this and you haven't done the challenge you're called out to do the challenge you know who i haven't seen and i'm gonna call him out right here even though we called him out what's that Zydale, I have not seen his video. No, nope, I hadn't seen Zydale's video. Caleb Browns. No, Caleb did his. Caleb did his? Yes. Yes, that's right. He did do his. He did his over here at the Georgia Department of Natural Resources office uh, over off 278, which is a fantastic place. And as far as I know, it's still open. Yep. So if you are a Georgia archer, Georgia archer and you're looking for a place to shoot, the Department of Natural Resources office over here on 278 has a brand new i'm trying to figure out how to get rid of that range screen. it's driving me crazy um that is beautiful phenomenally laid out covered i think it's even got fans under it yep picnic tables it's nice beautiful concrete slab to stand on all right todd said what are you supposed to do um what what episode is it so 30, todd doesn't 30. Forty. Um, you can go back and listen to the podcast. Uh, no, I'll just tell you. Are I'll just tell you. Well, the best thing is, is it's actually on the Facebook page. I'll just right? tell you at Todd. the top. I'll just tell you to print PDF on the PDF or JPEG that you can print out on the Facebook page. Well, you can get to it through the Facebook page and or the GeorgiaArchery.com web page. Print it out. Put the target at any pl at any distance you want. Um, I want to say Tyler Hill or Scott Parrott shot his at like 60. Yep. Uh, well, even. Somebody uh, shot it at 70. I don't know uh, exactly. Curtis. 
Curtis Broadneck shot it at 70. Yep. Anyway, it's a target that you print out on an 8.5 by 11 sheet from, of paper. From 10 to ten to 70 is what it's been done, so it doesn't really matter what you do. Yeah, and my daughter shot it from 5 <clears> foot. <throat> get, get My daughter, she's 8. Yep. Throw a Genesis in, her, in, the, in the kid's hands and let them shoot. She loved that thing. She, yep. Daddy, I hit the virus. I F- hit the corona. Film, film the video. in it or you know share it to the page and we'll share it to everybody so uh that's what you got to do todd you put that new mafrus to work looks yeah, he's, he's been shooting it really shooting well it. it's ready to work yep see if you can kill some coronas um but yeah that's been a hit so i think that's pretty cool that uh we've been uh doing that and having a good time and uh you know since we don't have shoots to go to and uh, everything's closed. Um, you can't go fishing. Can go fishing. You can go turkey hunting. You can go turkey hunting. Uh, the governor, and just a point, I did want to reiterate this after watching the press conference that the governor put out earlier. He's still encouraging recreation, outdoor recreational stuff, campgrounds, fishing. Hunting. He didn't necessarily say fishing or hunting, but he did mention campground usage. The beach is open down at Tybee. Yep. No coolers, no chairs. Stay six foot apart. No no um, umbrellas. No umbrellas. Be smart. Uh, and, you know, I don't necessarily want to go down that rabbit hole with uh, people being concerned with the beach. And uh, I mean, it's sticky. It stinks. This whole situation sucks. There's no other way to put it. I had to sneak out of there and get a yeah. drink. Um, I'll be glad when it's all over, just like everybody else. But, I mean, dude, I can't stay can't cooped no. up in my pocket. I, I mean, it's, turkey hunting Sunday ridiculous. morning was so peaceful mm-hmm. and so much fun, especially with seeing some birds and hearing some gobblers or a gobbler going at it. Well, I've um, been putting the grill to the test last few days. Yeah. Uh, Nate and I was going to do that again probably yep. tomorrow. So we've been doing that just because, you, you know, now that we have a, we changed our store hours. Yes, to be yes. more in line with the rest of the store. Yeah, I guess because we, we haven't really posted much about it. No, the archery shop is now open from eight thirty to five thirty, same as, as same the regular as the hardware, hardware hours. Hours. Uh, we can only have ten or ten or less people in the store at one time. Yep. Well, uh, that's in the whole store. Yeah, and then and well, our, no, it's that part. Uh, they're doing. Ten in it the is, front, ten in the back. Yeah, because it's based upon square footage. Yeah. So, and uh, you got to keep your – so, essentially, we our targets, you just have to – if you let's say you wanted to come in here and shoot, just make sure you're not six foot six apart. Six foot apart, yeah. Keep your hands washed. we got hand sanitizer. Yep, we we, we wash and clean mm-hmm. and scrub all the handles all the time. Phone, credit yep. card. I mean, yeah, we're doing what but, we can um, to protect our clientele. To the best of our ability, at the same time of you know, ah, in. yes, Todd, <laughs> shoot, shoot target, video, video post. post. You're right. Um, the target can be found on the webpage, georgearcher.com. Yep. Anybody <laughs> else experiencing the audio coming in and out? Anybody? 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 No, I'm just playing. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. I did any- see a, I did see a like button go up when we said that so maybe that's not too good maybe you should do some internet checking or whatever it is that you do well mr it guy usually somebody will say we can't hear you you know everybody complains they're good they're good about i do notice that our db level is lower on the screen than it was last week yeah um i don't know how many people are how many out there are your kids driving you crazy you ready who's ready for the kids to go back to school huh <laughs> I'm past ready for this. Go <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to get back to some normal. <laughs> what is normal? We talked about that earlier. We, I don't know that we'll get back to the normal. We may have a new normal. Mr. Anthony says, yep. He said the sound is spotty. Hmm. Who said that? Well, it's probably the Jaguar. It's moving a little bit, maybe a little louder. So, 
Um, how's the video? I know it's blotchy on the screen that we're watching it on. Um, how is it out there for you all? Normal here for Mr. Anthony. I was going to ask if we can bring the nope. kids to negative nope. Ghost Rider. Um, uh, no, no. Touch. John might take them in the <laughs> range and do some lessons or no. something. No, we're not dropping we're the not, kids off. Not no. here. You can drop them off, but not here. No, you, you, you drop. Look, no, you can't drop them off here. Um, Your house, though. I subbed it. Not my house. <laughs> <laughs> no. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna get back to some. But they drop off at my house. I got work for them to do. There's leaves to be raked. You know, and... I'm missing seeing my fellow archery friends. You know, um, but uh, yeah, we're just trying to get this thing rolling and talk a little bit. Since well, we ain't got this would be so much about. more fun if, had we had something to, to really, really talk, talk about. about. You're right. Uh, so I'm gonna ask this question again. I did it last week, and I'm gonna ask it again. Who likes the live version? Do you like the video aspect of it? Would you prefer just to see no video and it be live or with video or no live at all and just go back to how we were doing it? We're just looking for opinions and thoughts. No, I'm not interested in any common core math, Gavin. No None common whatsoever. core for me. Give me back to the way we learned 20-plus uh, years ago, and I'm cool with it. The way that they're doing it now. Can't help you. For real, though. Look, old Stephen Milton is in the house. He been trying to do some fishing, I seen. Well, that's about all there is. Can't shoot a bow. Well, you can. But there's no tournaments to shoot them at. He says video is good and audio, so. Well, how about that? He likes it all. Well, um, Darren... Uh, so how are you going to shoot? Where are you shooting at this weekend? Uh, same place I shot last weekend. The grill? Uh, maybe. Um, I may have to go back over to the DNR. Uh, that, I'm telling you, man, I, I wish there was more of those of, across the state so yeah. more people could utilize it. And I know it takes funding and it takes dollars. I might even and, take the skinnies over there and pin um, up a target. But that, I mean, we're fortunate because we yeah. have that place right down the road to utilize. But, I mean, they did a wonderful job. And I'll I'll say this, and I don't know exactly where the funding for it came from. Yeah. But if my hunt license, if part of the increase that we saw, what, two years ago in our hunt license uh -huh. helped pay for that? I'm, I'm fine I'm with good. it. Yeah, well, it's definitely. You a, could charge me ten bucks more a year, a, and I'd be fine with it. A gorgeous place to shoot at. I um, no doubt about it. Just because, for those that are just getting interested <clears throat> into the sport, I mean, it gives them a place to go. Yeah, I mean, and outside of Charlie Elliott. Oh and yeah, and those I mean, other places. I mean, somewhere yeah. that you can shoot sixty yards to, because yeah. a lot of people, you know, we one of our number one selling sites here at at Ace. In social circle is the engage the CBE engage. Yep. And one of the ways that you calculate what site tape you need to put on that site is, is by shooting and thirty and sixty. Well, a lot of folks. Do, ain't do got you know 60. how many people tell me? Well, I, I don't have a way to shoot sixty yards. Yep. And there's other there's a couple other ways to go about finding the correct tape if you can't get sixty. But the calculation tape that they send with you is calibrated for thirty and sixty. Well for the folks that are remotely close to the Department of Natural Resources office over off 278 can utilize mm -hmm. that 60 yard bag just for that. There you go. I think that um I think Panola has a 60 yard spot. Now that's one I've never been to even though I'm not too terribly far from it where I live. No, no, no that's no, Rockhawk. No, that's Rock. Yeah. Rockhawk. But uh they have a 50. You stand across the road to get 60. <laughs> cannot say that we can promote standing across the I'm road just telling you where it was. I didn't promote it. I was just telling you where it was. But uh, That's on you, John. I think That's all on you, Big John. I think Pamola has a 60. Um, and, uh, you know, so, good Lord. Fishing is great. Stephen, I will, I will agree with that. Mason and I went, I think it was Monday afternoon. I've been living down there at the lake for almost a year and a half now or something. Yep. 
And I've caught several fish out of a coney, of course, off a boat and yeah. some off the off the bank. But I am yet to keep one since I've lived down there permanently. You ate some this weekend. I told Nathan <laughs> Monday, I said, dude, grab a cooler. If we catch any, we're bringing them home. Uh, what else do we have to do other than fillet some fish and eat them? And that's what we did. And they were good. Hmm. Richmond Hill has one. Let's see, out at 80 yards. Dang, that's sweet. That's pretty stout. I didn't know. Where is Richmond Hill exactly? I do not know where Richmond Hill is. Can y'all see John moving the mouse across the screen? No. That's bugging me. You, they don't dude, see that. Dude. Let me do You're going to give me Tourette's. They can see it now. Look, they see it now. Look, there it Whoa. is. Look, they see it now. Uh, I don't know why. It's... This box is driving me crazy. I'm going to drag this box up here. It's driving me crazy because every time we move, it hits my face. All right, I got a question for those that are watching. Favorite form of archery? Go. 3D, indoor, or outdoor? John, what is yours? Uh, 3D. 3D 3D is is your favorite. Well, field is my favorite archery. But we don't get to Tony t- would be mad I left that out. We don't get to do that very often. So 3D is my my favorite. 3D would have to be my mine as well. Of course, ASA format. Second favorite would be a toss up because I do enjoy shooting fifty meters. Um, look, I got all oh, kinds of stuff. I can't look up there no more. <laughs> I do enjoy fifty meters, but I also do enjoy indoor more now than i ever did in the past i don't know why uh I'm just messing with everybody now that that chasing that that 300 you know th- those higher scores i do enjoy it i don't know if i enjoyed as much as 50 meters but tony says safari or field well the safari was a great time when i went down there and, you miss me. and uh Tim, what is a safari round so the safari round is almost, well, you know, reading, right? Where it's a marked shoot. Mm-hmm. Well, lots of times. Well, this time, whenever we get this in, we'll have uh, 3D targets and paper targets with a round circle on it, from three yards to 101 yards. Skinnies, I'm sure. Uh, well, 101. <laughs> yeah, skinny, I'm sure. But uh, there's supposed to be a safari round down at Ogeechee Bowman after all of this mess is over. Um, and uh, I hope that it can happen because it is a fun round. When do they do that? Usually <laughs> between uh, uh, April and May. Somewhere is it in there. that close? Um, you know, April, somewhere in there. But because uh, Redding has gotten canceled and right so usually we try you know a lot of folks try to do it there with uh a head of reading as a warm-up you know other states and other stuff so um but yeah it'll it'll happen hopefully and um you miss know. me or we miss seeing you as yeah, well we i hope austin I shooting seeing, a new bow i miss seeing all my archery family i mean this dude yeah Y'all get to see us because y'all need because to, you know, yeah. It's not been the same for the last three weeks. I, know, I don't. I, I know it's not been the same for a lot of people, and the, and I really pray for those that are sick and all. Yeah, dude, I miss seeing the kids. Me too. The uh, indoor. I don't think indoor sucks because it's better than not doing nothing. But I actually enjoy that. That. that yeah. That constant striving for the next better score. I mean, I'm not a consistent 300 shooter, and I can't shoot no 325. I guess I can't because nothing's impossible. But, but you're not I mean, a I'm not a normal 325 X shooter, um, or a 60 X shooter on a five spot. I just like chase. I like the chase, so to speak. I guess that's one way of putting it. So he said May 17th is what they're looking at right that now. That was the same weekend as Tech, which has been postponed. Been postponed. At least it ain't been canceled. So um, that's what they're looking at now, according to whatever. And right this minute, who knows, but the Georgia Cup is still on the docket for the first week in May because that's after, even after the extension, 
It Sh- should be after. So when when will a decision be made? Will there be a decision made before the thirtieth? Yes. Um, this was announced according to being that it was he's going to run out on the sixteenth. But now with this extension, they'll probably have another discussion on that because they haven't opened registration because they figured we're not, we don't, we're all in limbo. Right. And uh, like the S3DA was all in limbo. Right. And still Still is for the two, for the two state tournaments and the virtual Mm -hmm. uh, indoor tournament. I still haven't heard anything um, on my end from any of that. Just stinks, man. How we, which I know I'm, like everybody else listening and watching, I'll be ready for this to get over with. Yes, the GBAA is also set for that same weekend, the spring turkey shoot. May 2nd and 3rd. If if things go the way they are. So that's what it's reset. Well, maybe to. we don't have another extension. Hopefully this, this thing we get on the backside of the curve quicker than expected. What was it, Jersey that I heard this morning? Maybe ahead of the curve. Th- or flattening their curve. Um, so I think it was Jersey that I overheard as I was getting dressed, getting ready to come to work this morning, that they were talking about was slightly ahead of schedule. But I may have just dreamed that. I don't know. All I know I is I we've been extended, and that's what we're going to do for now. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, spring turkey is supposed to be scheduled for then. Do you, I think, I do not, I honestly don't think they'll shoot Kentucky. That was what the second or third weekend of May. Yeah, you have to flip that to where it was supposed to be. Um, the last weekend of May. Yeah, I do believe that we will shoot the ASA Kentucky, or at least it will happen. Not that I'll get to shoot it, because um, I'm sure you and Steve are probably going to that one. I don't. Kentucky is my least favorite of all of them. I I hear that often. I actually enjoyed Kentucky the one year I got to shoot it. Uh, it was different. I then I mean I like the dark lanes. I mean, call me weird. I just actually enjoyed it. Now, would I want to do that every weekend? My I'm prediction for ASA was Illinois, um, Coleman, I guess. So so if that and happens, then, and then go back to. Fort Benning. So how did so we'd have four total? Yep, three highest and and then three, shoot the last one and shoot the last. I mean, so how I does don't that know. Work? I don't know what he'll do. I don't. That's because two have been canceled. If Kentucky gets canceled, that's three. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know what is because it's so delayed. I, I don't know what. Fill me in, brother. Holler anyway, if you hear me. Wow. Um, I don't know. I don't know how they'll do that. It'll be interesting to see. I really don't. I don't uh, know. Shooter of the year points. The we was talking about the with U.S. Archery and the USAT. I mean, how do you set USAT rankings when you've canceled several shoots already? Two of the three. Um, I don't know. Uh, and then you think about it, and this is what something that someone else brought up. All right, so you've been out of work. Not us, luckily. Fortunately, you, so far. But you've been out of work for now going on four weeks, five weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Kind of weird. It was just a challenge, something that I, I had never been to Kentucky. I've only been there yeah. once. To me, I enjoyed it. It was it was different than what we usually see here. Dark, the lanes. I mean, dark, dark. It, was, it was definitely more challenging. And maybe that's why I enjoyed the challenge. Yes, part TMG of it. is hosting. TGM. The, TGM is hosting the spring turkey shoot, um, and it has been rescheduled for hopefully the first week in May. But yeah, it's, um, to go back to what I was talking about. You've been off for four or five weeks. Funding. You now you're now you're Funding. like, hey, I got to make sure my bills are paid. Yeah. And Funding. so that is going to offset where I think some of the numbers now. Like me and. All these other people's got cabin fever. They're going to go to one, but I ain't going to sure they're going to make all of them because of, mm-hmm. you know. And what's the one that's scheduled for October now? Uh, Arizona Cup or what? Yeah, that's late October. Is there Arizona Cup like 25th or something? Like I said earlier, can we just skip to September, start deer hunting, and well, then start well, over in 2021? I think some of that is um, 
they had to have, I mean, it's the same thing that you need some of these outdoor shoots to rank now that they move the Olympics. Right. I understand. It's a ranking round. So they got to have it in sometime or another, but I hope to gracious that, like you said, that we can get back to some kind of normal. I do not believe that will be the normal that we knew. Before. No, it'll be a new normal. It'll be a new normal, which just, it's no fun, but. And it's hard to be. Let's see, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, <laughs> excited. It's hard to. I mean, because there's so much fear. Yeah. Some some sadness. That's right. I'm optimistic that things are going to get better sooner rather than later. But yet, at the same time, I'm afraid that it may not get better as quickly as we would all hope. Um. That was one of the things that that, re- that was one of the reasons why we did the Georgia Archery Coronavirus Challenge was to bring some laughter and some fun. And I mean, if you guys got any ideas, uh, you know, shoot them to us. Matt Malone sent me something the other day, and I'm gonna pull it up. Just a thought. Haven't seen anyone do this yet, but when y'all do your podcast this week, maybe you could discuss some drills or alike that folks can do at home in regards to shot execution and so, form. So before there you I, go, Coach John. Before, before I hit live and everything, you couldn't read that to me till like now. Not nope, throwing you on the spot. So bro. I was just like, oh, come drills. Well, a lot of people are doing. Um, go look and see if it looks like we're froze, and I don't understand why. Well, I just clicked off of it. Mm. Uh, and then he, he goes on to say, maybe bring some attention to primarily hunters that are bored to death and mm. provide an opportunity to get them into 3D or something while all this is going on. Well, it's hard to get you into something when I can't send you to a tournament, you know? No, I think we're still good. Okay. If we're still good, yep, we're good. All right. So anyway, back to the drill. Drills. Give me a drill. Um, well, you can shoot at three yards. Okay, so tell um, me about it. You can put your target in, in your hallway. <laughs> we need a disclaimer. <laughs> Wait, I'm not doing this. You need a disclaimer. Uh, well, you, you, maybe you should add that in before. You, see, you put me on the spot. So yeah. the send all your hate mail to bigjohn at gmail dot com. No, r- r- surface at gmail dot com. Um, if you shoot the hallway, if you shoot the wall or something the point in the being, hallway. As far wife. as practice goes and drills, you do not have to be 50 meters, 70 yards. Matter of fact, there is some uh, site papers that you can print out. Agreed. That you can print out that you can stand at three meters, and it makes your site picture look the same as 50 meters. Where can that target be found? Um, well, I will now that I've mentioned it, I will dig it back up and put it on Georgia Archery's webpage and uh, link to it to the Facebook. So um, that is one way to do things. Other thing is, um, hold on, <coughs> is um, visualization. Visualization is a key thing that uh, Nathan Brooks mm-hmm. told me that he did uh, when he won back-to-back in uh, indoor nationals. Is he said that uh, you know he would you know pretty much visualize drawing the bow, shooting the shot, smelling the uh, hot dog water that was boiling in the back, the whatever you know, the crowd, the the weather, the paper, every you know he imagined it so fully that essentially when he got there, like I done done this a thousand times. So a visualization, if uh, you don't have a chance to do um, stand and judge at targets. And you can go into your yard. You can also judge to the car or to the uh, mailbox or to the bush that's on the corner of the house with a rangefinder. Absolutely. You can take a volleyball, basketball, something, throw it out in the yard, guess how far it is, and then range it. Mm-hmm. So those are some drills. <laughs> what would be your favorite drill to work on? For shot execution. My favorite shot execution drill? Mm-hmm. Throwing him right on the spot, y'all. Ooh, right on song. the spot. Video yourself. That's a good one. Yes. Go back and critique it. Ask someone such as Coach John, mm-hmm. Tony. Uh, yeah. Several of those out there that have several years of you know, coaching experience. Scott Robbie Parrott, Danny Pincus, Todd Clyatt. 
Um, there's there's people all over the state. That, George Riles. Uh, George Riles. He's I mean, always a busy man. Uh, there's there's people out there that would be more than willing to look at a video and yeah, and, you can send, it. send videos to RobbieSurface at gmail dot com. Well, that's not the right address. So just I know, send them well, to George Archer at gmail dot com. George Archer at gmail dot com. We'll both look at them. Um, How's my form pictures? Yeah. How's um, my form? But, what do you see that I'm doing? That, but anyway, back to it. Favorite yeah. shot execution drill. I don't know. <laughs> crashed and burned. You 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 got me on the spot. <laughs> Coach E crashed I, and burned. If I'm working on just my shot execution, I am up close blind bill. Yep. That would be. I mean, almost eyes closed. That would be my favorite one, blind bail or blank bail. I blank bail, blind bail, but I pretty much close my eyes. And when I'm doing it personally, yeah, I'm all I'm thinking about is the releasing everything. Yep. I mean, of course, you know when I well, set up, set, yep. I mean, draw, all, anchor, load. From that point on, my focus is release hand, making sure I'm loading in my back and relaxing the hand and just waiting on it to go off. Robbie, don't want over archery videos and over. No, you don't want me doing no archery videos. Oh. I'm not that guy. Well, we've run this for 40-something minutes now. And we've still got people on. And there's people. There's eight, still eight Seriously? or nine, ten people watching Let me this. go back to my phone. We still got. Uh, uh-oh. He's like, where'd it go? Yeah, I can't. I lost it. He lost it. Where's it at? We 45 minutes and we still have people on here that are willing to talk? <laughs> wow. Oh. There'll be folks. There'll be a lot of folks watching it. Um, neither here nor there. Did you find it? I'm going back. I'm getting there. The gigawatts is really slow. Yeah, and that's what's kicking us. Ain't yeah. got Tony saying ain't got nothing better to do. True that. We got ten people still. That's on. right. Wow. Eleven. I saw eleven. Um, that's maybe because I logged back on. <laughs> <laughs> you, you the man. But I tell you what. Um, we appreciate everybody, you know, supporting Georgia Archery. Um, we do this for the love of the sport. Um, and Absolutely. Uh, Austin is shooting a dry wall. I mean, the target. <laughs> yeah. Dude, have you seen that wall? Has she shown you a picture? I have not seen I've that seen that it wall. in person. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. Shooting a dry wall? Yeah. Uh-huh. Thank goodness he has not hit an electrical wire. Yep. And said drywall. Yep. But, yeah, back to what John's saying, dude. I mean, we certainly appreciate each and every one of you all that have listened to the podcast on yep. whatever form of podcast. Or, yeah, like. watching us here, here. Uh, sharing all of our posts, and we appreciate it dearly. I so, promise you when we get back to somewhat normal. Uh, I'm going to have to answer the phone. Hold on a second. Uh, somewhat be live. normal out at normality. Yes. I don't even know if that's a word. Hello? Uh, I promise you that these videos will be a little bit more entertaining. Um, Hello? I don't know exactly how we'll do it. If we'll have a rundown of scores or with a board behind us, I don't know. We're just kind of getting into the live scene. We've been asked about it several times, and it was just up until last week we decided to actually do it and try it. Uh, so, anyway... Um, I don't know if John's planning on coming back. I hope that wasn't an emergency because usually he wouldn't get up and answer his phone during the middle of a podcast. <laughs> All right, he's back. Lie. So I, he's nobody's dying yet. That's a good thing. Um, but anyway, kind of like what we were saying, we appreciate all the support. We, pre- we appreciate the likes and the shares, uh, the comments during the live videos. Yep. If you guys would like and gals would like us to continue to do this, we certainly will. It is fun. I actually like the interaction. Yeah, that we got get to talk to you. Um, back yeah. and forth. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I got, man. All right, man. Well, uh, until next time, I'm Big John and I'm Robbie. We'll see you.